Okay, here's a quick uh, test video for you. Um, I picked up the Canon two times extender uh, recently because I want to make my uh, Canon 7200 uh, 2.8 uh, Mark II um, L lens a bit longer for uh, surfing and kite surfing and kind of sports where you just you just can't get closer to the action. Um, uh, quite a few people have said to me online that the 1.4 is is much better and the two is a little bit soft. Um, so I just wanted to do a couple of uh, quick tests. Um, to show what the, the extender can do and yeah, just to find out you know, whether it really does uh, make it a little bit too soft and whether I should send it back and get the, the 1.4. Um, so first of all, here's a, a quick look um, using the GH4 and the 7.5 millimeter um, uh, fisheye lens, just to give you an idea of uh, you know, what, where, I'm, where I'm standing for this particular shot and the, the reach that the extender and that um, 7200 lens can give you at 200 millimeters. Uh, and then if we quickly cut to the top of that uh, rock there, you see there's a flag, and that's the sort of uh, the reach that you can get with the extender, just to put it into some sort of um, into some sort of context. Um, so then let's straight away go into a few uh, stills that I just took out of my um, bedroom window upstairs. It's not particularly exciting, but it should give you an idea. So without the um, without the extender at 200 millimeters. Um, I did a few different shots and I found that around about sort of f, f4, f5.6 is roughly the, the sort of sharpest kind of um, f-stop for that lens. Uh, and then if we compare that to our, uh, with the teleconverter, um, obviously you lose a bit of light with the uh, teleconverter. So these shots were actually at the f8 is what it reads on the screen. Um, yeah, the F8 uh, photo looked about the sharpest to me out of the, um, the teleconverter photographs. So there you go, that's that side by side. So you get some idea of the magnification that you're getting, which is obviously two times. Um, but then also the sort of the, the sharpness and the, the softness that uh, you may or may not be getting. Um, and I really don't think that looks too bad at all. Um, they, there's a, a zoom in at uh, 200%, so you can really kind of pixel peep a little bit um, and I, I really don't, it is, it is slightly softer, there's no doubt about that, but um, I really don't think it's too bad at all. Um, so anyway, let's quickly also have a look at um, what that looks like in, in video, because this is what, you know, at the end of the day, this is why I'm using the GH4 for the majority of the time. So uh, here we are without the extender in uh, 4K. Um, this is um, scaled down to 1080 work, uh, workspace. Uh, but that's that's what that looks like. And then if we then cut that to with the extender uh, in 4K, so that's what that looks like. And the other option, obviously, with the um, the GH4 is you can do a sensor crop. So if you if you are working to a 1080 work project anyway, you don't need that 4K, even though the 4K is lovely. Um, then we can also look at the um, what the sensor crop looks like and compare that to the extender whether. One's better than the other. So here we are in a 1080 um, file, and firstly we'll do, we'll show you with without the without the extender, uh, and then without the extender and with the teleconverter turned on. And now let's have a look at the um, with the teleconverter teleconverter turned on, and the extender and the two times uh, Canon extender. So then obviously we're getting super super close to our our subject now. Um, and then, yeah, if we put these uh, side by side, then we can have a, a little look and sort of decide. Obviously, having the extender just gives you that extra, extra reach if you need it, if you want to combine the, the sensor crop uh, and the actual, you know, and the device itself. Um, but you may want to consider, if you're choosing between um, uh, using the device, using the, the glass, the, the extender, or the sensor crop uh, in low light, you will be getting more noise with the um, in the sensor because, um, of course, uh, you know it, there's less a lot less actual um, photons hitting that tiny bit of sensor. It's already quite a small sensor in the GH4, remember. So uh, within the you know when, when you crop into the very center of that, then it's obviously even less light getting to it. Uh, but it, it doesn't do any, um, you know, pixel binning or anything, so it is nice and clean in terms of aliasing and that kind of thing. 
So anyway, there you go. I'll, make, I'll let you guys make your own conclusions, but I think it looks pretty good, and I'm going to keep hold of it. Um, I think it, it's yeah, slightly softer, there's no doubt about that, but I think it's totally um, acceptable image loss, especially for, for video where this, you know, it's not a super high, high resolution um, megapixel still that we're dealing with here. So I think for video, even 4K, I think it's still sharp enough, and I, I definitely will be using it. There you go. I hope that video was useful. Thanks, guys.